Hello from sunny Los Angeles, California to you in Shanghai, China. My name is Baba Kateb. I am chairman of the board for Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics, president and scientific director of Brain Mapping Foundation, director of National Center for Nanobioelectronics, and director of Brain Technology and Innovation Park. Before I begin, I congratulate the organizers and the supporters of this great event, which is organized to help children of China and the world. And I also want to thank uh, dignitaries, including the Honorable Formal, uh, Foreign Minister of People's Republic of China, uh, Mr. Zhao Xing Li, and Professor Ming Shi from USC, and, uh, and the CEO of Brainco. Uh, Mr. Bai Ching Han and uh, Professor Tian Li Zhao, uh, Min Min Lao, uh, Professor Ming Jiang, and Professor Yang Zhang. I'm here to introduce Brain Mapping Foundation and Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics, the role of NASA in its formation and future direction, as well as the impact of Brain Co and its technologies on the treatment and diagnosis of neurological disorders in pediatric cases. Our society's mission is focused on improving the diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of patients afflicted with neurological disorders. Our approach is multidisciplinary, collaboration with government agencies, private sectors, and universities, as well as philanthropists and philanthropic organizations. So we achieve our uh, goal through our annual conventions. Uh, I would like to invite you to our 18th Annual World Congress, which is going to be held at the LA Convention Center uh, from July 8th through 11, uh, 2021. The Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutic also uh, achieved its goal through publications, uh, including series of journals that we have published in the past, and during the COVID-19, we uh, pushed a series of publications, a landmark publication, which actually helped better uh, diagnosis and, and the treatment of patients with COVID-19. We also published a series of textbooks, including the textbook of neurophotonic and brain mapping and the textbook of nanoneurosurgery, which received commendation by President Obama. And uh, the textbook of nanoneurosurgery is now up for uh, second edition, and I'm uh, I'm glad to announce that our uh, colleague and friend, uh, Professor Ming Shi, will be one of my co-editors. Besides publications and uh, annual conventions, Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutic is fully engaged in global policy in neuroscience. We also played a significant role in Obama's brain initiative and now advocating for Brain Technology Innovation Park under Biden administration which uh, include uh, global partnership and international partnership. And uh, we would like to uh, invite you to join us uh, as part of our Brain Technology Innovation Park. Our Neuroscience 20 initiative, uh, which is in parallel with G20 Summit, is focused on the cost of neurological disorders to the world economy. The cost of neuropsychiatric disorder and neurological disorders to the world economy is estimated north of $14 trillion by 2035. Therefore. We extend our hand of collaboration to all of you so we can collaborate together and introduce new diagnostics and therapeutics in order to defeat neurological disorders, both for adult and pediatric cases. This collaboration could reduce the cost of healthcare, increase healthcare efficiency, and also allow us to better innovate technologies like Brainco. Another one of our important initiatives is Brain Technology Innovation Park, which is focused on translation, integration, commercialization of neurotechnologies in partnership with the Neuroscience 20, Brain Mapping Foundation, and Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics. Similar to BrainCo, SBMT had many collaborations with NASA, including use of uh, NASA's multi-wall carbon nanotubes, in vitro and in vivo. We also use uh, NASA's multispectral imaging for intraoperative brain mapping for better resection of tumors, both primary brain tumors and secondary brain tumors. Currently, we are using AI machine learning for intraoperative 
tumor mapping both in adult and pediatric cases. In the last decade, the brain-computer interface has evolved from uh, much more invasive technologies uh, to a less invasive technology like BrainCo. BrainCo took the classic NASA algorithms, advanced it with deep learning technologies, and developed a first commercially available variable BCI system with specific neurofeedback training for targeted groups, including autism and ADHD. Branco's unique hydrogel electrodes eliminates EEG gel and achieve high data quality and superior user experience. Branco's well-designed headset has helped collect a large database of variable EEGs, uh, including more than 10,000 cases and growing. Branco's non-invasive prostheses weight less than 500 gram, which provides amputees with a superior hand motion and grip because of its AI algorithm, allowing intuitive control of each finger. Branco technology also have superiority on the EEG and the prosthetic hands over its competitors. In conclusion, on behalf of the board of directors and members of Society for Brain Mapping and our trustees, uh, I would like to congratulate all of you for uh, joining the Laboratory of Science at the Shanghai National uh, Medical Center. Uh, we congratulate BrainCo uh, team for their uh, pioneering work in the field of brain mapping and therapeutics. AI by itself cannot help healthcare, and its integration with other platforms is the key to its success. BrainCo has clearly demonstrate such integration. Discovery, innovation, and pioneering work is only possible through collaboration. We welcome you to become uh, members of Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics and participate in our 18th Annual World Congress for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics, which is going to be held in Los Angeles Convention Center on July 8th to 11th, 2021. We hope to see you there.